Mm -hmm. <laughs> winner, winner. Where's you at, baby? What happened? I have a dress on today. I have to be ladylike. Oh, you're <laughs> being a lady. My little, uh, my little Southern Belle wearing a little dress today. Hey, guys. It's been a great week. We've had a good week, haven't we? A great week. Well. Daniel was gone most of the week. That's then not, we, that's not um, nice. That's not nice. That's not what I meant. That is exactly what you meant. No, it's not. Why? What? I was you saying. You got guilt all over your face. I, no, I don't. <laughs> anyway. Wait, I'm sorry. Did that hurt your feelings? No. Okay. Nobody hurts my feelings anymore. Yes, it hurts. Hey, I'm going to tell you right now. After going on YouTube and putting yourself out there for every mean there's so many bad names I want to call people right now oh I had somebody really hateful this past week you know what but I'm not gonna give her the time of day I said I was gonna talk about her on here but I'm not going to she deserves no time of mine um guys listen hey okay let's get back to where we was at we've had a great week so you guys have seen my video where I went to North Carolina and I was traveling for work and I stopped by the lodge store. That was awesome. Next week, if the good Lord's willing and the UPS trucks arrive, <laughs> we are going to have some new lodge cookware and some really cool stuff. I can't wait. The only problem is Lou has somehow convinced me that if we're going to have all this lodge stuff, on our rack and all that, that I, she's gonna have to have a new table to put it on. So guess what Lou did today? I ordered the um, a tall stand-up cabinet that matches my uh, dining room table to stand right there in that corner. And it's gonna hold all our cast iron stuff, plus it has doors on it on the bottom, and we're gonna put our spices in there. I don't think so the spices see, are gonna go there. But yes, I, we'll, yes, they are. They will. Especially the big stuff that's in there, we can put down in there and it will make more room in there. You know what I think you should do? But I have a new cabinet. Guys, already. listen, this is going to be a great idea. Seriously. Lou's not going to like it, but I'm going to tell y'all anyway what I think you should do. On that cabinet, it's, or the open, the open part on the top of the cabinet, you could put a little curtain rod and a little curtain. No. Yeah, it would be really cute. No, not doing it. That would be really cute. Not anyway, doing it. Whatever, you don't have to. Um, all right, so, also, guys, we just went on a little mini vacation. Uh, Lou's last Friday. Last Friday, y'all. So, by now, y'all have should have seen that video. Came out Tuesday of our little vacation. We had a pretty, pretty good time there. Really neat place. And now it's Sunday. We're back home. It's back to work tomorrow. And we had to mow yards today. And, well, Daniel had to mow yards. And some people got to lay in the pool and relax while some people work really hard. But I hardly call riding on the riding lawnmower is working it's hard. It's hot. It's hot out there. You have wind hitting you while you're riding. And dirt and dust. Well, I had dirt and dust hitting me in the pool too. So, it would even... Anyway. Alright guys. Here we go. Let's get started with today's episode. <laughs> So listen, this is episode number 30. Um, 30 episodes. There's been some half episodes in there too. But, yeah, uh, this is our 30th Cooking with Dan and Lou. Uh, we got several things we're going to make today. Our main our main meal today is going to be real simple, real easy. We've got to go get the grill out in a minute. Uh, we're going to do some quesadillas. We're going to do pork, chicken, and steak quesadillas. Why are you looking at me? Because somebody had to have steak quesadillas and... Because that's the original thing we were supposed to make is steak quesadillas. And Daniel, like, oh, let, I, I had to have pork. You've got to make pork. you got to make pork. Well, yeah, look, at the, look at the difference between meat. the price of the pork and the steak and how much more pork we have compared to steak at double the cost. This is a special treat. Uh, you've gotten a lot of special treats lately. <laughs> Those are going to have to start slacking down. Anyway, but we're also going to make our pico to go with it. Our 
our our kind of pico that we like. Um, so Lou, we got a lot to do. Where do you want to start? Oh, guys, wait! I gotta read some comments real quick. I'm getting a drink. No, baby, you gotta. No, you can't go get a drink while I do that. The best comment ever on the history of cooking with Dan and Lou or Daniel Lauren Outdoor. I'll just read it to you. And this is by. Here we go again. Yeah, come it. This is by. Oh, I can blow that up. Oh, yeah. Vera Ledbetter. Do you need me to read it for you? No, Vera. Thank you. Oh, gosh. Real man wears a cowboy hat. And that's how sexy is done. Oh. Yeah. I like it. He has not told me about that like comment. It. And I guess I didn't see it. Thank you so much. Uh, next, we've got... Uh, okay. I can blow this up, too. Sandra, Sandra Hayes. Sandra? I'm sorry. Sandra says, could you just give me a sign or something to let me know that you got my comment or question? I have asked a couple of questions and never got a reply back. Guys, I typically try to answer every question. I like almost every comment. I'm so, Sandra, so I'm sorry if I missed it. Uh, but if you have a question, send it to me. Facebook, messenger me, whatever. Uh, if you got a question, I will answer it. And then, really good comment here. Uh... Louise Campbell. Okay, guys. You. <laughs> okay, guys. You are being the greatest couple ever. And okay, guys. You are the greatest. <laughs> you have the greatest easy to make recipes. Love you guys. So thank you for the. Okay, guys. That's cute. Appreciate that. Very cute. Okay, Lou. Let's get to work. Um, we're gonna do the. We're gonna do, go ahead and do the. Uh, Vegetables first. Yeah, what's that? Oh. Pickled Okay, giant. well tell them what we're going to do. Tell them how we're going to make everything. Okay, I'm going to tell you okay. how we're going to make everything. <laughs> Go ahead. It kind of went blank. Um, well, Daniel, anytime we have Mexican food, likes to make his own pico de gallo. So we're having cilantro and onions with uh, squeezed lime juice on it. And Good. that's his topping for his tacos and everything. Salt and pepper, yeah. Salt and pepper. We do, I did buy regular Pico de Gallo already made, didn't I? Yeah, but uh, let's talk about the, let's talk about the uh, what quesadillas and how we're going to do those and the reason. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going <coughs> to slice, we're going to chop all of our meat up. But we're going to cook the, each meat separate. Yeah, yeah, I think while I'm chopping the meat, I think Lou will be sauteing the vegetables down so that there will be sauteed. Because the meat, we're going to cut up in such small pieces the meat's gonna cook really, really quick, right? And then we'll separate it. I mean, I don't. We may have two skillets at the same time or something. I don't know what we're gonna do there. But uh, go ahead. I'm sorry. I, I kind of cut you're you good. off, and okay. I'll get in a lot of trouble for that. No, you're fine. Okay. So anyway, we're gonna cut up the vegetables. It's just gonna be how not how it is. It's just gonna be bell pepper and onion. That we're gonna start cooking down. And then when we get the meat ready, we'll put it in there with them. These we'll will already be cooked down. Yeah, yeah, and then. Uh, we'll bring the flat grill out here in just a minute at some point and basically you want to slay a tortilla down put the meat and the vegetables on there so with some cheese. cheese and then put it together and then grill it on like the a, side like a grilled cheese and then cut it into fours I guess we're gonna do big ones or are we gonna cut one or fold one tortilla in half no I think we'll do I think we'll do big, big ones, ones yeah and guys we have a four pound bag of cheese I've never seen a four pound bag of cheese before I uh, got that at Kroger. That's pretty cool. I'm liking that Mexican cheese. Anyway, uh, we're going to get these packages unwrapped and uh, we'll bring y'all back in just a second and we'll get our pico going. Okay, guys, we're going to go ahead first and we're going to cut up. Blue, you want to cut the bell peppers? I'll cut up these onions for uh, the ones that are going to be for the quesadillas. We washed this. You did you wash these? Huh? You wash these? You just didn't take stickers off? Something like yeah. that. Part of washing. Well, baby. 
I, next time I pick it, picking the vegetables out. These are bad. Why? What's wrong with my vegetables? Look, that cilantro. What's wrong with it? I actually, I don't know. It looked good. It looked much better in the store. All right. And how do you want me? How big do you want these? I mean, what do you? I'm just cutting in strips, okay? Yeah. Can you believe from one week to the next I've already forgot everything I learned about chopping an onion? Or I feel like we haven't cooked in a while. I mean, I know we have. It oh, does feel like close. that, don't it? You didn't see that. I almost just cut myself. <laughs> Baby. I would not doubt it. Is it, are you doing one bell pepper like with the meat, one bell pepper, or are we just going to split it up? Yeah, I kind of got gonna... one bell pepper for each meat is kind of what I did. Do you have the skillet on so we can start putting this in there? Uh, no. But I do now. Oh, wait a minute. Boy, I'm going to do something bad, guys. Fix and do something bad. All right, let me see. Who here. picked this meal out? Uh, I did, right? No, you did not. I knew you was going to say that. You picked this meal out? Yes, I did. Remember while we were on the trip, I just started looking for all kinds of recipes and waiting for you to reply, and you're like, oh, yeah, let's do those. Mmm. I don't know, guys. I don't know if I 100% believe that. I do. But. All right. Okay, why didn't I... Alright, guys. I messed we, up. <laughs> Let me have a little mishap. It's okay. I didn't so, cut the bell peppers like that. Chop them up like this for those. So that's going to be the pork chop and chicken stuff. Burn. And this one's going to be for the steak. We're about to burn this up. Yeah, those are burning. Yeah, that's burned up. It's okay, though. Stay off, stay off that fire. Yeah. Okay. We've got a little bit too much going on. Time, guys. We've got to burn everything up. Old Dan took it on high again. Alright, let's let these set So, up this, these are, one's going to be for chicken, one's going to be for pork, and the chopped up stuff is going to be for the steak. Yeah, so since she wants the steak, it's her favorite. She got the good chopped up with the steak. Okay, well, let's get our, uh, let's get our, uh, our pico, not, it's not really pico de gallo, but let's get our whatever that stuff's called going. So just set quick. this to the side? Yeah, you set that to the side, I think, for now. We're going to need your good chopper for this one, though, right? I got it. All right, so i got to cut this up so fine. Okay. Perfect. I'm putting this back now. Uh, baby, it's a little burning. It's going down now. You sure? Yep. Want to put a little bit more something in there? No, it's good. No. That can just be for the you know, pork be, chops. You know, it's going to be tasting burnt? No, it'll be good when it's all put together. I am so thirsty. I cannot get enough okay. to drink. Oh, we need that for this, right? Cut them up that. What's wrong with your knife? Well, I don't want to cut myself. There's nothing wrong with the knife. Well, you don't got to come up that small if we're going to put them in here. Okay. Well, I didn't know. All right. I don't want to spill a bunch. How'd we do? You spilled the bunch, but the at bunch? least it was on the table. Okay. Is the blade in there? I hope. If not, if not, oh, we're in yeah. trouble. I feel like we got so much going on right no, now. No, we don't. We're good. No, I know. I just, I'm saying I just feel like that because I feel like we got a lot going on. All right, guys, real quick, we're going to cut up our... Uh, 
I got this all mixed up. No, you don't have any lime juice in there yet. No, that's what I'm waiting on. This will be plenty, huh? Huh? This is plenty. We don't need to make more of this. Oh, well, you can't. Oh, wait. I'll turn this over like this. Man, I really don't know how to use this like thing. Like that. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Oh, Lord. gosh. That's a lot. We're gonna put the rest of it in Just there. Just two limes is all you're doing. Lime. I mean, the two halves. Yeah, the two halves. Boy, this thing right here, guys, is awesome. I don't remember who got us this, but this is the bomb. Oh gosh, that's a lot. That's enough. That's gonna be perfect. And I want to use. We're gonna put lime on our meat too, though. I always put lime on our meat. Mm. That sounds good. Baby, what? yeah, gum it. <laughs> Come on. That's not what I then meant. Then why are you laughing? You have to Huh? I ain't cutting that out. Forget it. Uh-uh. Oh, we can just leave that spoon in there. Okay. Isn't All our right. bowl so cute? Enjoy, says Lou and Daniel. I love that. It's my favorite bowl. I wish there was a... I don't know how to cut this uh, meat up. As small as we really want, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You just gotta chop. Just chop, huh? Chop. Cleaver it. I can cleaver it. I don't know if that's the right thing to do with it, though. Yeah, I think I just 
stepped on an onion. Yep, right there. All right, baby, what do we got here? So we have our pork is already done, actually. So that looks good. It looks very good. So now I'm going to add the chicken to this. And then we got to clear out that skillet for the beef somehow. Yeah, well, if you'll uh, get the thing out, we'll, I'll start throwing the... the Okay. Yeah, take it off. Uh, yeah, that's good. I'm gonna start throw, putting those together. While that's cooking. While this is cooking. Yeah. Okay, let me go get the other. And while oh. the steak is cooking. Okay, yeah. All right. Guys, I have no idea what angle this is that you're seeing me. I guess it's not too bad. I want y'all to see this. This is a beautiful, beautiful cut of meat right here. Um, I don't remember. I don't remember what the package said it was, Lou. But. uh Sirloin, wasn't it? Yeah, some kind of sirloin, but this is gonna make great. I think it's gonna be really, really good. I told Lou, I said, please, whatever you do, do not overcook this steak because you don't want to ruin a good cut of meat by overcooking it. But this is a beautiful, beautiful piece of meat. Come on, baby, keep them coming. Calm down. No, because people are going to be here any second. And we're not ready. I don't have a cutting board out. Well, make do with it sometimes. Alright, um, what, what do you want? Why on the steak? On the steak. We don't need this one. Why don't you just cut up? A lime. Okay, baby, you gotta get going. I'm waiting on you. You're not waiting on me. You gotta get going. I am trying to wash the stuff as I go. Okay. All right, sorry guys. Dan was in a little bit of tank mode. Can we get three of them on there, you think? No, just two. Jeez, jeez. Let me put some cheese on there first, huh? I mean, I don't know what do you think. Help me, my hands, I can't, I can't rip it. My hands are wet. Oh boy. So dramatic. More? Yeah, you're gonna have to add a lot of cheese to make it like a quesadilla. Okay. We're making five of each, right? Well, uh, so, baby, I don't. Whatever we got enough for, I mean, do we not have enough for five pork ones? Now add more cheese to the top. I think I'm right in the way of the camera. I don't, I don't know if we're gonna be able to put those over. I ain't, I, You're I'm, gonna have to. You don't have a choice. Well, we better. Okay. It'll work out just fine. You're gonna put the cheese on it. You're I, gonna we, have to add more cheese than that, though. We need our uh, more cheese. More cheese. Baby, baby. More cheese. Okay. For Pete's sakes. More cheese. No. Yes, I'm serious. A quesadilla is mainly Okay, cheese. we're not going to have enough cheese. Yeah, we got a whole nother bag of cheese in the fridge. Okay, listen, we need those that tongs that that lady sent, sent us to put things over with. I don't know where they're at. Not tongs, but you know what I'm talking about. No. Spatula. The double spatula. We're going to have to hurry up and get them turned over. It has to cook for a few minutes. I don't know what a double spatula is. I don't know what a double spatula is. Oh, baby. It's not done. Okay. Give me, give me two, give me two spatulas. I don't know. I don't know what to do here. Where's our metal spatulas? Huh? I don't know. Here, let me, let me help you. Let me have it. 
<laughs> you didn't even use that. Well, that it kind of helped hold it. <laughs> Good job, baby. Good job. We need way more cheese from now on. Okay, I'm gonna get you more cheese from now on. Oh, that's freaking good. You gonna cut it while it's on there? In my pan, yeah. Or do you want to cut them when you bring them all? <clears throat> I just can't handle this stuff everywhere you have. Okay, baby, what do I got? I don't know what you. I don't. I don't know what to do. All these are off, right? Uh, I don't know about the steak. I think I just have it turned down. This is a really cool pizza cutter I got from Pampered Chef. That Can they see cool. me? Yep. Mm. See, the, it's not okay. enough cheese. Okay, baby. Yeah. Oh my goodness, okay. Don't matter now, you already flipped it. Okay, well the rest of it looks good. Oh, look at that. Yeah. You want to taste one real quick? No. I'm hungry. You're just going to have to be patient. Boy, so we're going to make one whole one whole tray, nothing but pork, one whole tray, nothing but chicken, and one whole tray, nothing but steak. And we're making a mess, but hey. It'll be all right. This how how handy hand does that double spatula come in right now? Good. <laughs> Can we show how good these are looking? Bring them here. And guys, you know we gotta cook them all the way. I knew you can do that. What did I do? I didn't cut you all the way through. You gotta cut all the way through. I didn't cut all the way through. I have to do everything. <laughs> I'm afraid they probably already think that. You know how they say know that. They know. All right, there's our last. There's our last pork. pork. There we go. You got some tin foil to cover them with or what? Yep. Just, we need to get going though. Let's keep rocking and rolling. Put that in the corner. Yep. It's a little harder than I thought it was going to be. I ain't going to lie. What do you just think? Just a little time consuming. Dan, are you gonna? Um... Well, baby, I'm trying to show that we got people here, and you are not ready. You're late. Dan. You're late, baby. Buddy won the bet. Buddy won the bet. Dad, come it. There was a bet on us, Lou. I turned it off. You gonna make another one? Well, I don't know if that's enough cheese. If not, I can throw one together. Really. I don't know, but nobody touch that thing. This is gonna be hot for at least the next couple hours. Oh no. Oh, bub, I'm sorry. I'm coming. Oh, <laughs> come here. Come here, Papa. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right. Oh, Papa got you. Yeah, I tell everybody hi. Tell so me not crying anymore. All right, guys, y'all. Blue, can you turn it off so we can pray? We can turn it back on in just a minute. Yeah, baby, you can't have that right now. Yeah, let's watch. Let's watch this one right here, Dave. No, she so can't be still. All right, y'all ready? Yeah, we're ready. Heavenly Father, thank you for the stage you've given us. Thank you for this food. Thank you for everybody coming back to eat with us this afternoon, Lord. And please bless this food and nourishment of our bodies. Praise you for all things, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Yeah, well, I think Kim was being. Oh, oh, okay, I got you. I ain't, I ain't yeah, putting it down. You asked me if they were all tied together. The ones I sent you a picture of, they were like permanently arranged right. like that. They were just stacked up. Make your plates, folks. Ooh, make your plates. I mean, it wasn't hard. It was just time. <laughs> There's a whole plate full of this cheese. Plus, it'll go from two minutes. Then pour it out. Yeah. Look at your mama. With mine. Oh, he'll go to Gigi. Well, 
Are y'all trying? Is everybody trying to hold Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, guys. So listen. Hold, Bubba, hold on just a minute, please. Just for a second. Mama. So, um, I need to ask y'all some questions to make my head swell a little bit. Because that's not going to fit you. My hat probably won't fit me after this week. It's all right. Give it to Levi. Hey, I can grow hair before I can go to heaven. <laughs> this whole family has got bombarded with some very, very mean comments this week. Uh, not from the same person. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and ask anyway, everybody, what they thought about the food. And uh, Levi, did you eat the food today? No. Why not? <laughs> Levi. All right. Uh, Connor. Did you have some food today? Yeah. What did you have? Cheese quesadilla. Cheese quesadilla. Was it good? Yes. Awesome. All right, Bud, Steph, y'all go first. By the way, Bud didn't eat a quesadilla because Bud's on a keto. I ate No, no, but you're on, what, you're on a keto thing? Okay. They would be mad that I made it. Hold on. believe I was squeezing the heck out of Mario there. All right, Steph, go ahead. The chicken? Followed by the steak. Okay, cool. But you I had, have, what'd you have? I had chicken and steak. I did not have pork, but I'll, I'm going to follow Steph and say I'm chicken first, steak second. Wow, awesome. Okay, Laura, what'd you eat? I can't get that. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, Laura. Hold on, Bubba. Laura, what are you eating? Cheese? Huh? You like it? What's all the side of your mouth? Sour cream. Sour cream in her hair. Daniel, you're gonna have to hold him. All right. He's gonna scream the whole time. Okay, you come get the camera, baby. You do this part. I'll go get Bubba. We'll let your head swell a little bit, Lou. Poor Bubba. Come here, Bubba. He wants Daniel. Poor Bubba. All right. Oops. Okay. All right. Here we go. G, what's your favorite? I really love the chicken. Boy, the Kim, a lot of wait, I, I got your head cut off. I'm not very good at videoing right now. My favorite, can you see me? Yep. We don't have to see here. My favorite was the beef followed by the chicken. Okay, Ben? Uh, the steak. Yeah. Steak is my favorite, too. Well, I said beef, but that's what I meant, steak. Laramie, did he already ask you? No, I thought the steak was by far the best. Okay, mine, too. Beef. Pop? I think the steak was the steak best. I loved all three of them. Okay. Well, well my head has swollen a lot because I chose steak to have as quesadillas. <laughs> yeah, it's so all you, all you, Lee. It was all me. All right. Well, Thanks, y'all, yeah, for coming. Yeah, I thought they were all great too. Thanks for asking me. Oh, I thought your dad already asked you. Oh my God, poor Bree. <laughs> Which one was your favorite, Bree? I hated them all. They all suck. That's why we didn't ask you. Connor, did you have yours, baby? Yeah. Connor. What was your favorite? Cheese. Okay. All right. Yeah. Elora, did you ever answer us? Yep, Which one was yours? I didn't hear cheese. you. Say it again. Look at me, Elora. Yeah. Oh, she must like the cheese if her mouth cheese. is full. Yeah. All right. Wait, what about Bubba? Bubba's eating cheese. Bubba has ate a little bit of everybody's, yeah. I believe. He took all the way around the table. Whoever will give him a bite. Okay. All right. Happy now. Well, thank y'all for coming to dinner and it. picking steak. Winner, winner. Oh, guys, that was not quite. I, I thought that was going to be real easy. It was a little <laughs> more time consuming than I thought. It was a lot of work too because we, you know, we went from cast iron to the other thing and then flipping a big quesadilla over is not the easiest thing in the world I and mean, we did it you did it pretty good uh you've kind of figured out a way but um yeah it was i don't know i just i thought this was going to be like really quick really simple and it just it actually seemed to be a lot a lot of work but everybody loved them yeah everybody loved it i mean they were they were a true hit um I think that if we do quesadillas again, I think we'll do a combination quesadilla. Yeah. 
Like a little bit of chicken, a little bit of steak, a little bit of pork, all on one piece of That'd be or good. just one meat. Or yeah, just a one meat piece of meat. The uh, the or the whatever. beef was really good. That of was course, my favorite. Yeah, but of course, like I say, that little bit of beef was twice as much as the other meat. But we got a good we got a good cut of meat, I guess. But uh, no, the the beef was very very good. The chicken and pork both I thought were great too. I would have I could have ate any of them. It would have been fine. But anyway, all the family is here. I think everybody enjoyed it. So, uh, what do you think? You recommend it? Yep, definitely recommend it. But one meat at a time, maybe two tops, three three different meats. It's, it's a, lot a lot of work. A lot of work. Uh, the onion and bell pepper was great. Um, it had just really, really, really good flavor. Now right. it's time to clean the kitchen. Yeah, we hadn't cleaned. And go yet. to bed. Yeah. I'm ready for bed. I, I'm a little tired. But anyway, guys, listen, thank y'all for joining us. Uh, we hope you enjoyed it. And um, try it out. I think you will like it. And listen, I said something earlier about, you know, people being mean to listen, guys. I should probably shouldn't have said that uh, to everybody. It just really, it aggravates me. You know, we do this. We do this for fun. Uh, we try to do it for some entertainment for you guys too. Yes, we are real. We don't rehearse anything. And for Pete, somebody just to come on and just totally be just a jackhole to you, just really. We do have feelings. It does hurt our feelings. Yeah, it know, hurts my feelings more than him. But well, you know, like I say, we knew we, we don't were take opening, it personal. We, I knew we were opening ourselves up to some things, but it's just very disheartening. You know, it's very disheartening. And, uh, you know, you don't want to go around, oh, I'm blocking this person, I'm blocking this person, I'm blocking it. Mm -hmm. Like, come on, man. Can't we all just be adults here, you know? And I don't know. It's kind of like my mom always said, if you ain't got something good to say, just don't say nothing at all. If you don't want to watch, don't watch. I mean, we're, we cannot force you to watch this okay, channel. Okay, well, we're not going to keep telling them about that. Let's just drop it. You're right. Okay, anyway, guys, love y'all. Thank y'all for joining. And uh, we'll see y'all next week. Appreciate Bye. it. Bye-bye.